Before we get into our, our questions, I wanted to show you something. This, this whole pile here, it's in the very early stages. Ugh, my gosh, these are heavy. These are PMG signature products. This happens to be the transport that's getting ready to be built. So PMG signatures are in production. They're here. There's uh, somewhere around here is a group of preamps and um, really cool stuff. I'm been so many years that, you know, here we are actually releasing the PMG series, the signature series that is kind of the culmination of everything I've ever done and helped with and been a part of. And I'm, I'm pretty proud of them. But OK. All right. Enough of that. Um, Ted in Brush Prairie, Washington writes, Paul, I love your show. Well, thank you. Ted, I appreciate it. What I would love to know is how can a speaker play multiple instruments, vocals, and other things at the same time? I'd appreciate it if you could explain how a speaker can mechanically perform this magical feat. Thanks, Ted. Yeah, we've, you know, I, I, again, I talk about the times that I've repeated some of these things because every time you explain something to somebody, you do it differently. And this group of people are like, whoa, I get it. And this group of people, I still don't get it. So that's okay. And I, I think it's important that we cover them again and again in order to try and figure out an answer that makes us happy. And basically, a speaker can do two things at once because of the very nature of how it is moving air. So let's think about how is it actually making something we hear, right? And so what we hear is changes in air pressure, okay? We have a little eardrum in here and it moves back and forth. And in response to that, it sends that movement into our brain and we interpret that as sound. So basically, when a speaker moves, it's moving back and forth. And you've, I'm sure you can picture that, right? So let's say that it has a thousand, let's say a hundred cycles, okay? It's moving back and forth, back and forth a hundred times a second, right? Now, let's say that we want that steady sound to have a beep, okay? Just like beep. Well, what's that look like? Well, that is, I can't, it's like, right? It's moving real fast. So now picture our thing moving back and forth at 100, and all of a sudden, it's still moving at 100 times a second, but on top of that movement is this rapid forward movement and backward that makes this beep, beep, okay? So it can do multiple things at once, but all of it's riding on the same form factor, if you will. So as it's moving, it can also move in addition. If, if, if this is a good, from this to, to this, right? So it's still moving, but it's going up and down really quickly. And that combination of stuff is what makes a trumpet and a bass guitar come out of the same speaker at the same time. Now, you might imagine, well, wait a minute. If the diaphragm of the speaker is moving like this and moving like this, isn't that causing some kind of distortion? And the answer is, yeah, absolutely. It's called Doppler distortion. And it's Doppler is how radar guns work. Doppler is why you hear when a siren goes by, you hear meow, as it changes frequency, as it gets farther away the Doppler effect, that, that, that the farther away moving is that slow moving thing with something fast riding on it, changes it. Now, if it's done properly, you can get away with it and our ear doesn't really hear it. But one of the problems with an all-in-one speaker, you've seen these uh, people say all the time, well, this is the best thing because there's no crossover, there's not multiple drivers, we don't have a tweeter and a mid-range and a woofer. We just have one woofer and it's doing everything all at once. And so it has to be better. Well, in some respects, sure. In other respects, not so much. 
by breaking it up so that we have a woofer doing the slow moving stuff and a tweeter doing the really high frequencies and a mid-range doing the middle frequencies, you lower that Doppler distortion down and we hear better clarity. But just as a simple explanation, that's how it does it. It moves in and out for low frequencies and really in and out quickly for high frequencies and together moving slow and high at the same time is how it plays two instruments or more at the same time. Hope that makes sense. Thanks. Mm -hmm.